Okay, thumbs up if everyone can hear me. Let's get going. Happy Monday. It is August the 5th. So crazy, but that's just how time goes because it always goes by fast. So thank you so much for being on the Team Glow coach call. I know we have some people that are newly tuning into the call. So welcome. I'm so glad you guys are here. We meet every Monday and it's just, we meet for 40 minutes. So we don't not even here for an hour, but it's really important to meet as a team because we are a team. Like we are throughout the country. We are now in the UK. We are in Canada. We are team glow. And the team that you develop is a part of that. So whether I am your coach or maybe you're in my downline, we are an organization and we're a force of nature. And I think it's really important that every Monday we realize that we are not in this alone. And it all comes down to our mindset and our work ethic. Every single one of you has the potential to be way more successful than I have been in this business. And that is what I want. That's what I truly want for each and every one of you. This business has changed my life and I, my job, like my purpose is to pay that forward and to teach and to lead by example, but also to say, go do it better than me. Like go, I can't wait to celebrate you. All right. So thank you guys so much for giving me some time tonight. I'm going to get through my topic. I've asked Heather Marie to speak a little bit at the end of this call. So I'm just going to hurry up and try to give you 10 minutes. Um, but I, I like to really listen to you guys throughout the week to be able to talk about something on Mondays. And a lot of what I've heard this past week is that we're just not using all of our avenues to invite and to really get organized on our follow-ups. Because those two things, I think we need to just really dial. And I'm not going to hold back. I'm going to tell you exactly what I use. I held back before because my organizational system is not free, but I'm like, this is ridiculous. I would be nowhere without the organizational follow-up system that I use. So you guys are going to hear about that and you're going to hear how I don't feel overwhelmed because I don't. I really don't. All right, let's get started with announcements and I'm going to share my screen and then we'll go through avenues of inviting. So okay, thumbs up if you can see the slides. Avenues of invites. All right, recognition. So we it's only the fifth and we have numbers on the board, which as you guys know represents lives changed or making that I don't really necessarily want to say lives change because just the purchase doesn't really show that they're going to make the difference, but the potential to change someone's life because the purchase is basically their decision to say, I trust you as my coach and I'm ready to do this. And our job is to help them in whatever way that we can. So Julie, congratulations. She said, I know she had, I, I messed up in my, hang on, someone said something. Now I'm, I'm not going to be able to, Heather, that of a coach before this call. Okay, now I don't know how to X out of it. Hang on, there, I did it. All right, Heather Pathway, woo! Wait, someone else is, hang on. Oh, shoot, I don't know how to check the chat box. Did someone just say congratulations? Is that what they said? Yes, okay, so some yes. Yay, that is so exciting. Okay, I'm so glad you said that, and I don't know how to X out of that, so let me get back into it. Okay, thank you for doing that. Yes, if you guys have things to say, drop in the chat box. Someone just tell me if it's, I can't click out of it again. If someone's saying anything else, just, unmute yourself and tell me. Um, that's super exciting. Congratulations, Heather. So now Heather has four total coaches on her team. Is that right? Yeah. All right. So uh, Julie, uh, back to the recognition here. Julie has Success Club 6 by the 5th. Congratulations, girl. I know I messed up on the live this morning. She has five coaches, not six, but very soon to be six, I'm sure. So that is super exciting. She did sign up three coaches this past week, including her husband, though, which is really exciting. Uh, I have four points. Sarah has four. Brandy has two. And Samantha has two as of right now. Remember, guys, points can take 48 hours to show up. So if you did, like Heather said, if you did sign someone up today or even late last night, they might not show up yet. They will. Don't worry. But don't think I forgot you. This is just as of this morning what I could see in my drill down. And Brandy will officially be an Emerald coach on Thursday. Yay! So as you guys know, Emerald doesn't officially change until Thursday, even if you have your two active coaches. So she is, she will be Emerald. We're just waiting for the actual rank advancement day. So that's exciting, you guys. I cannot wait to see what it's going to be next week because that is that's a really great board for five. I want to see everyone on this board, but I'm so excited to celebrate you guys. Okay, let's get right into it. We've got a lot to cover as usual. There's always a lot. Like, we always got to go. We got to do this. So I have a couple announcements that I just want to make sure you guys are growing your team. So you really do need to understand the process of onboarding a new coach. So I recommend you just copy my training. Unless you really want to recreate your own or use Beachbody's training, 
The reason I created my own is that while I love Beachbody's corporate trainings, I really wanted to cater ours to our culture and how I really want to train a team. So you, if you like my training and you like our culture, don't reinvent the wheel, just recreate the trainings on your own Google form. You can say exactly what I say and just change your team name and change a couple names as you go throughout the forms. Um, so if you guys don't, please set a goal time frame to create your coach training. If you sign up for coach today and you don't have one, they can use mine, it's not a big deal. But I want you to start to really have your own. And that just means you have your own Google forms, you have your own coach welcome email, and remember that all you do is give them the tools. They set the pace. It's, not, it's honestly not hard to sign up a new coach, you guys. When I sign up a new coach, I send them my welcome email and then I wait. Because if they do module one, then I send them module two. If they don't ever do the coach training, I check in with them, but I don't get them on a phone call or a Zoom. I just treat them like a challenger until they're ready to go through the training. Because honestly, guys, I can't help them until they've gone through that training. There's so much they need to know that that's their priority. So that's, that's how easy it is. And then welcome them to the team, to team glow and welcome them to your team page. So that gets into my second point, but real quick, you guys, Julie asked me this last week and I want to make sure everyone knows when you create Google forms, if that's what you're doing to create your training on the response tab, you have to turn on the notification. So you get an email when someone has completed the modules. Okay. If you don't do that, they can tell you when they complete the modules, but they might, they might forget. So it's really annoying that this doesn't turn on automatically. I can show you later, but just know when you create your Google form for each form, you have to click on the response tab and then there's three dots. When you click on those three dots, you'll see an option to turn on email notification settings. Okay. It's annoying. I don't know why it's not automatically defaulted, but just make sure that it's a small thing, but it's a big difference that you don't have to go chasing people down, asking them if they completed module one, you'll know because you'll get an email and you'll see their responses. Okay. And it's really important, you guys, to start a new coach with their vision. If you start with like, okay, here's Success Club and here's what we do, we're missing the bigger picture. Like, how do they want their life to change? And how can coaching be the avenue that gets them to all these changes? That's where you need to start with someone. So while you don't necessarily want to jump on a Zoom right away when they haven't done any business work, some of the first conversations you need to have with your coach is, where do you see your life in a year? Like, think about it. I know that's a big question, but talk about those things, talk about money, talk about the stuff that people don't want to talk about, but is actually eating them away inside because that brings the passion that brings the fire. Logistical stuff does not, we need to know that, but we need to start with their vision, their mission. How can coaching solve problems in their life? Okay. And speaking of that, you guys, you're all on team glow. You will always be a part of this organization, but my job is is better when I know that I'm helping you guys and you are kind of taking the reins and running with your own team, okay? So that means it's time to create your team page. I don't care if you have zero coaches or 10, you need to have a team name and a team Facebook page. I've changed my team name three times. It's not that big a deal. It doesn't have to be registered with Beachbody. It's just a community feel. But have a team Facebook page, even if it's just you and me, like add me to it. Um, because you need to start thinking of yourself as a business owner and a leader, not just, you're not just part of Ashley's team. You are your team. So while your new coaches can and should, I would love to have them in team glow, add them, introduce them, create your team page, your team culture. It is never too soon to do that because they need to see you as the leader, right? And that will hopefully inspire them to see themselves as a leader. And that's how this works. We're just passing on the, the opportunity to inspire, to lead. Okay. So it is not too soon. By the end of the night, everyone should have their own Facebook group at least created and start any coach, even if they're discount, put them in there. That's your team, okay? Because your team is going to grow. Um, I, I said this on Saturday morning. And I thought it was really fun. Let's go through this really quick. Three words that drive me nuts are busy, discouraged, and overwhelmed. So I'm going to do a little fun little, little treat. If I hear anyone say those words in our team page, you have to Venmo me $1 and that'll go towards getting a diamond, a new gift when they go diamond. In all seriousness though, those three words are so detrimental to your mindset. We are all, I don't want to use that word busy. We all have lives, so we're busy, okay? We don't need to say it. It's just how, it's how we live our life. If you're overwhelmed, your organization is out of whack. And if you're discouraged, your mindset needs tuned up, okay? So those three things are choices. And you get to decide if you're any of those three things. And if you are, you make the change. And that's what I'm gonna talk about tonight is organization. Um, 
So if I hear that, I'm sure I won't. But if I hear those words on the team page, you got to Venmo me a dollar. I promise I won't use it for my own benefit. I will use it for the team. But that is not in our culture. Those three words do not exist. All right. And a coach sneak peek, you guys, this is what we're going to talk about. Starting on Wednesday till Sunday, I've already scheduled the morning posts. You can start adding prospects as of tonight. I do need four coaches. If you're thinking about it, go ahead and just text me real quick or message me to offer to schedule their story uh, Wednesday through Saturday night. Okay. So just a picture of you, how long you've been a coach, why, what it's changed in your life. I need four coaches to volunteer to do that. Um, you can pre-schedule it in Team Glow, put it up in the evening just so they hear from someone else who's not me. Okay. It's business as usual on our team page for the rest of this week. We're just adding a sneak peek in. And so you can add these people that you are talking to one-on-one -on -one to join our team page. And basically how it's going to go is we'll have them in until Sunday into Monday. That'll be open enrollment. If they don't, if they do sign up, you send me their name and I will keep them in the group. If they don't sign up, you don't have to do anything because I know who just got added in the previous week. I will remove them. Okay. Because we have to keep our team only coaches and we have to understand like they need to sign up now or they're, they're out of the group. All right. That sense of urgency. So that is where your invite focus needs to be the next 48 hours. Okay. Going to fly through this, but please listen and please just own it. Like if I'm saying something that you're like, okay, I haven't been doing that. Just own it. You don't have to tell me, just be like, okay, I hear that mental note. Just do what she says. Like, again, I don't hit success club by accident. I don't, I did not hit success club 36 and add 10 coaches last month by accident. I'm proud of that, but it's because I do all this stuff. I don't, I just do it. Um, okay. So you guys, Facebook likes and comments, obviously Facebook and Instagram are the two main avenues for this business. I know a lot of coaches are neglecting Facebook. That is, that is a mistake. That is a huge mistake. Your warm market are people that know you, like you, and trust you. And if you're going about it in an authentic way, these people are knocking on your door saying they're interested by liking your stuff and you're not inviting. Like that's a huge missed boat, right? We have to remove the ego and say, okay, I'm going to share what I share on Instagram what I, to Facebook, same thing, same stuff. And I'm going to watch who's watching me because that's how I invite. That's exactly how I invite. Instagram likes and comments, Facebook story views, Instagram story views. For me, I don't get a ton of reaction on my polls, but I'm inviting people who watch my stories. And that is a huge, again, if you're not doing this, missed opportunity because they are walking into your gym, essentially by watching your stories, right? Because you're weaving in health and fitness and coaching and that's how what your story should be weaved in among your life. And you're not inviting them, you're missing the boat. It's like them walking into your gym and you're staring them in the face and you're just, you guys are in an awkward staring contest. Like invite them because they've stepped into your world. Welcome them. That's what we do. We're just freaking welcoming and we're saying what we have to offer and we want to talk about it. New friends on Facebook. Don't, don't think that you can't add to your Facebook network. You can, even if you're not a brand new coach, but mutual friends, people that you have a lot of friends in common with, send them a friend request. If they don't accept, it's okay. But if they do accept, treat them like an Instagram follower, right? There's someone who's checked out your page, decided to accept your friend request and invite them. Same thing, obviously with Instagram, you guys, you have to be following new accounts every day. I follow 200 accounts five days a week and I have a chunk of people to invite every day, right? Think of every action. We talked about that walking into your gym. Again, you take nothing away from tonight. You cannot ignore your warm market unless you are hitting success club and signing up coaches strictly from Instagram. And again, I'm being really real, right? I'm just calling everyone out because we all are, I don't want anyone to miss this opportunity. If you're hitting success club and adding coaches only from Instagram, I'll leave you alone. Keep going. But if you're not, Instagram takes longer because it's cold market. These people need to watch you traditionally a lot longer than Facebook does because Facebook friends know you on some level better than Instagram, right? So if you're not hitting success club through only Instagram and you're not signing up coaches only through Instagram, you better be doing both. You better be inviting from warm and cold market because that's how we build our business. Um, and you deserve to have people to coach people and coach people that know you because then their friends are asking them what they did. And it's this natural ripple effect of you helping more people. And that can happen on Instagram too, but it can really happen on Facebook. All right. You can't be done with Facebook. I'm not done with Facebook. Half of my new challengers last month was from Facebook or they were old challengers coming back, or they were someone new who liked a picture of mine on Facebook or watched my story. 
I'm, I'm not at all done with Facebook and I've been working my business for five and a half years. Every like and view is the opportunity to invite and follow up. Okay, I get this question a lot. So you guys hopefully at this point all know, I like two days, I think that's a great rule of thumb. Two days after I invite someone and they don't, if they don't respond, I send a follow up message. Hopefully everyone knows that and is doing that. I don't track that in my master tracker. I just know in my inbox from two days ago, I have batches of follow ups to send and everything else goes in my tracker. But that initial follow up, I just know is going to come two days later. People have asked me how often do I follow up after that second message if they don't respond. Use your judgment. If they're still watching you and they're still liking your stuff or watching your stories, I might invite a week later. I might be like, thank you so much for the support. Hey, did you get my message? Let's get you in this. Um, I'm not going to be a broken record. And sometimes I just say, thank you so much for the support. If they are consistently watching my stuff, but they haven't responded. So don't ever write someone off unless it's a straight up, no, I'm not interested. Even then they probably are down the road, but you have to use your judgment with that. I don't track that in my tracker because they didn't respond, but I'm going to, again, be so intentional of watching who's watching me. Birthday messages on Facebook. I hope you guys are doing this. Um, those are your warm market connections. So those are not necessarily, they're not invites right off the bat, but they're connections. And I, I had a challenge, a couple of challengers in June and July sign up because I sent them a birthday message and they're like, Hey, yeah, I've been meaning to talk to you or I've been seeing your stuff. Like such a genuine door open to talk to them. Um, I send a video message the day before their birthday and you, you can see whose birthday is coming up if you're on Facebook, on your computer, not on your phone. But that's a really unique way for me to get in the day before their birthday. Like, hey, I saw your birthdays tomorrow. I know you're gonna get flooded with messages. I just wanted to say, I hope you have a great day. And I recorded that message and I forwarded it out. So I don't use their name, but I'm still connecting with them and sending them a video message and it takes me two seconds. If you did that for a year, you would talk to every single Facebook friend that you had because everyone has a birthday, right? So I hope that you, if you don't do this, you start tonight. All right, posts must lead with service. You guys know this by now. We have to always be asking, how do we serve the people that our current network is our dinner table? How are we serving the people of our dinner at our dinner table? But also nine times out of 10, you guys, your posts need to have this message of growth or learning or um, accomplishment or a lesson, like something in there that can trigger an invite. Because again, it comes back to intention. So if I'm sharing something about my life and I'm weaving in my morning routine or I'm weaving in um, the mental strength I've developed through, through coaching or, wh or whatever I talk about, that's an opportunity to invite, right? Um, or once a week, have a fun post. Have a post that has nothing to do with anything. Like there's no deep message. It's just something fun that can make people laugh and, and do that. Like throw that up once a week. But every other post really needs to about, be about service and intention to invite from that. Call to action posts, my opinion, are dying. I think they're dying. I think we don't need to say, I'm looking for five people or I'm extending my coach team. Unless something like a sneak peek is coming up, I think that is still warranted. But in my personal Ashley Howard opinion, I think call to action posts should be less and less and less. It's about breadcrumbing. I, sh I don't need to do a call to action because I'm going to invite the people that are liking my post where I talk about strength. Are you guys with me on that? Like it, uh, it seems salesy to me more and more. I'm like, I don't want to do this much anymore for new coaches. They need to share their first transformation for our transformation posts. Sure. It can be a little more direct, but I honestly think calls to actions are going to be obsolete because everyone's doing stories. So talk about coaching daily in your stories. I talked to Morgan about this today. Every time you go to work your business, hold up your phone and take a video clip about what you're doing, right? Every time you're done your workout, Talk about how part of your job is working out. How cool is that? Part of our job is working out and taking care of ourselves. On Monday nights, video me right now. You'll probably catch me in a really weird freeze frame face because that's what my face does when it's on video. But talk about this right now and say Monday nights I meet with my team. Like these, we come across together across the country to focus. Like every day, coaching has to show up in your posts because that's how I invited 52 people to this business last week. I watched who was watching me and I was intentional about what I was putting out there because majority was my day and, and how I work my business with my life obviously in there. So I invited anyone who watched my stories to consider coaching. Okay. And it's so easy to invite. I literally say, Hey, Lindsay, thank you so much for watching my stories. I really appreciate it, girl. Have you ever considered doing what I do? 
And I don't even say coaching half the time because they know, they see me showing up and talking about this every day. All right, Heather, I'm almost done. I'm going to wrap this up. Okay. Tracking you guys. Tracking is so key. This is where the overwhelm comes in because you're not organized. I pay for teamsy.com. I think it's, I think it's probably $250 for the year. I might be mistaken. I think it's, you either pay yearly or you pay $29 a month. And it has kept me insanely organized. I don't use half the features, but I can set follow-up dates based on connections when people respond to me. So every day I go, I go to Teamsy and I open it up on my phone or my computer and I see the follow-ups that I have. And it just makes it so easy because I don't have to think about it. I don't have to remember anything. The only thing that I don't log in Teamsy are my initial invites and my follow-ups unless they respond, okay? And I can work with you one-on-one -on -one and help you try it out. Unless something else works better for you and you feel extremely organized by follow-ups and checking your follow-ups every day, then stick with what you have. But I think if you're really treating this like a business, that is how I run a six-figure business. It is Teamsy. And of course, the tax write-off, but it keeps me insanely organized. When I have a new contact, I add them into Teamsy and I set a follow-up date. It doesn't mean I necessarily message everyone when the follow-ups come up, but I'm at least reminded to check in with that conversation. So if I invite someone to coaching and they respond, well, I'm going to make sure two days later I have that reminder to see where we're at in that conversation, right? Because we're having that conversation and it's just, it's the best. I think it's the best. So I think I'm holding back, not highly encouraging you to try it free for a month. You can try it free for a month. If you've already done it, make up a second email and try it again free for a month, but use it to the best of the ability. I don't import my contacts. I don't rate my contacts. We can get into that later. I just add contacts as I talk to them and I add follow-up dates. So freaking easy. Okay. And invite you guys invite to the sneak peek. It starts on Wednesday to be totally honest with you. I don't need to do sneak peeks because I will get on a phone call or get on a zoom and talk about coaching because I love it, but I'm doing this for you guys because I know it's intimidating to invite this business as a new coach or someone that doesn't have a ton of experience inviting. Literally for the next 48 hours, don't worry about asking someone to get on a phone call. Don't worry about asking someone to get on a Zoom. Invite to this business and say we have a sneak peek coming up. Do they wanna join it? Someone's asked about posts. You can post about it in your Fit Club and I will, I'll post about it in Fit Club, but to be honest, 90% of people actually interested in coaching is gonna come from one-to-one -one messages and me reaching out, okay? Um, and you can do a call to action about coaching and you have a sneak peek, but again, it's one-to-one -one messages. What if you did a breadcrumb post about what coaching has done for you and invited people from there to consider joining the sneak peek? File section in Team Glow, please check that. There's so much there. There's invites, there's follow-up templates. There's um, literally like this, the four-step invite process that I use. There's just so much stuff. So make sure you don't forget. Okay. And I know I get some concern. I get, I, I hear what you guys are saying. Thank you for being honest, but you have like a lot of, so there's a lot of fear around your warm market. And there's a lot of fear around judgment. And I just have to say, like, I have to level up and say, why are we so concerned about the opinions of people who don't pay our bills? Right. If our goal is to inspire, achieve big things and take care of our families, do not let the opinions of someone who is not paying your mortgage or driving your car or picking up your kids from school, hold you back from making a, a shakable impact on this world. Don't give them that power. Don't. And I know some of you need to hear this. I know some of you have worked through it and some of you are in the thick of it. Do not let, it's okay to be scared. It's okay to be a little vulnerable and nervous to be vulnerable, but do not let those opinions shake you from doing this. And guys, going diamond is going emerald four times and having one business builder go emerald because most of you have a spouse account that you can build to emerald as well. So when I say diamond in 30 days, I mean it because you can do it. If you're literally leveraging the sneak peek and talking intentionally about uh, coaching, you can add three people. You can sign three coaches by Saturday. That's the challenge I gave the, the elite of us uh, pushing. And anyone can be in that group. It's not, it's not selective. It's if you want to push with us for our 10 star goal, you tell me and you'll get on our whiteboard. You're invited to Saturday morning check-ins. So again, we're a 10 star qualifying team. I'm hurrying Heather. I'll be done in 30 seconds. That's our goal is 10 star qualifying by November. We are a 2020 elite team. I didn't bring my trophy, but I got my second piece of my road to elite trophy for being a team leader, which I'm excited about. So I've got two more prongs. Like we're on the road to elite. I'm really excited about this. Three of you guys attend the new leader conference in LA in February. Three of you guys retire from your full-time job that you told me you want to get out of to coach full-time, which I don't work eight hours a day, but full-time income. And I asked Heather Marie to speak because She's someone who really does all the things, right? She does things on her success club tracker. She shows up 
and we talked about why she didn't necessarily hit her goals for July. And it really came down to her own limiting beliefs. And I thought that was, I asked her to share because we can be doing all the things on paper. And if our mindset is not right, I'm not saying hers wasn't right, but we recognize areas that she can really improve upon. That can be the shift in bringing the right energy to conversations. I would rather you invite two people with a solid mindset than a hundred people with saying, oh, but they probably aren't going to, they're not going to be interested. So Heather, I hope I left you enough time. Could you give us a little feedback on your limiting beliefs and how you're working through them now? Yes. Uh, so you can hear me okay? Everybody yeah. good? Okay. Um, so I'm going to share two limiting beliefs that I identified probably in the last couple of months. Um, first one is, do you really need Shakeology? It's really expensive. Okay, yeah, it is kind of expensive. So that was one. Over it. Okay, just get over it. I did. <laughs> I'm over it. Um, my second one was, I felt like, okay, I've got to get all these invites done. I'm just sending these out. Like, I don't know if these people are going to respond to me. I just, I need to get them out. I need to get them out. So I had, Ashley helped me take a big, like, leap <laughs> back from that mentality. Um, and that's not what I'm looking for. I'm not, my goal is not to send 100 invites out. My goal is to help people on their health and fitness journey. And to do that, they, I want them to join me. So like, instead of thinking, I've got to hit, you know, SC6, I've got to do that. I've got to get all these invites out every week or every month and, you know, meet all these numbers. I s just shifted a little bit to how many people are going to join me today? How many people am I going to help this week? How many, you know, people can I bring on and help them change their lives the way that my life has been changed? Um, so I have kind of, I think also since the Ashley Molstad training, by the way, if you haven't watched that, I don't care what your plans are after this, you're going to cancel them and you're going to watch it because it is so fantastic. Um, and then our team call, was that last week's team call that we talked about? Yeah. Um, so watching those two things, um, just total sh shift in my mindset. The other thing that I have changed is I realized, and this is something that was said in that training, that I was being sold on a no way more times than I was even going, to, you know, the extra mile to sell on a yes. Okay. So I was having people say, oh, no, I'm not, I don't do shakes. I'm not interested. I'm not, you know, well, now I'm really asking questions because, but my limiting belief was, okay, well, they're not interested. They probably are getting annoyed. I'm not going to ask any questions. You know, it's not, I don't have the right to ask questions. Of course you have the right to ask questions. You know, I want to know why, because maybe their thought is something that I've thought before or somebody at one of you guys have fought and shared with us and, you know, I can kind of help them. So those were my two. I'm pushing past them and I have to share with you guys. So the other thing is like, we got to go now. Like I know Ashley, you said that at the beginning of this call, like this, we got to go now. My urgency before it was like, okay, well, let me know when's good for you. Maybe we can do a call. Maybe we can, you know, whatever today. So I had somebody, I have a couple people who are wait, are ready to sign up this month, which I'm really excited about. I had someone reach out to me today who I reached out to for the first time three years ago when I first became a coach. Okay. So I, I had reached out to her again at the beginning of this year and she had said, no, I'm not interested. Like absolutely not hands down, not interested. Um, so I hadn't followed up with her actually, which this is a lesson to me learning lessons here. I should have probably <laughs> since then, but she reached out to me today and she said, Hey, I noticed that you're having re you've had really great results because of course I'm consistent. Like Ashley said, I do what I'm supposed to do. I share my stuff. I, you know, I'm on my stories every day. I share my transformations. I'd share everything um, because I finally got over that hurdle of not, you know, of being able to share that and not feel like, Oh my gosh, is, am I annoying? Like, I don't care if you're annoyed, stop following me. Um, but so she reached out and I was like, Oh my gosh, yes. It went, Yes, that sounds great. What are you doing now? What's your nutrition? So she kind of like went through a message. I, I, she told me what she was doing, which I didn't know what it was. So I wrote her back and I said, well, I'm not gonna be able to compare because I don't really know what that is. But I can tell you what I have. And what I think you need to be in is this group that I'm in right now, this 100 days, can you commit to 100 workouts? And she was like, Yeah, I said, Okay, well, we got to do this now. Um, when could you be on a call? I said, I can be on tonight at 730 or tomorrow. 
Like I didn't give a lot of options. I gave her two options tonight at 7.30 or tomorrow um, evening. I said, I can do either one of those. So we had a call right before this. Um, she, the first thing she said to me when we started talking about a challenge pack was I'm not, I don't do shakes. I'm not, I don't do them. I said, okay, well, why? <laughs> like, what's the matter? Why don't you do shakes? What does that mean? Have you had a bad experience? And so she, said, she didn't really have a reason. So anyway, long story short, I just got a message from her. She signed up. She's done. Challenge pack in SC2. Woo! So I'm over it. Like I just had to, I just had to like take the plunge, you know? And it's really weird to be sitting here and feeling this way, how I feel now, where it's like, yeah, why didn't I feel like this before? <laughs> um, so my whole point in sharing this, and I'm sure the point in, of Ashley asking me to share this is try to identify your limiting belief. Maybe they're the same as what I had. Maybe you have different limiting beliefs, but try to really reflect on that, discover what they are and talk about them with Ashley or your, whoever your coach is, and they'll help you to come up with some kind of a solution to getting around that. And then it, things I think are, they're just, I mean, this is my first one that like they, she reached out to me and I'm like, all right, we got to do this today. Like we got to get you in. And after our call, I just said, all right, well, I sent everything to you. I sent, you know, I sent her my promo code. I said, you gotta, you know, if you do it today, I'll get you in to my challenge group immediately. You can start tomorrow. So she said, okay, I'm looking at it. And then I sent her another message. I said, all right, let me know when you do it because sometimes my, it doesn't, you know, sometimes there's a lag and I don't know. So she just, like I said, sent me a thing. So I'm so excited about it. Um, and this is why identify your limiting belief <laughs> and talk to your coach or whoever. It doesn't have to be your coach, success partner, whoever it is and get over it. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is like, what the, the best end to that story. <laughs> Sign up. <laughs> and we're all like, what? <laughs> I love that. Oh my gosh. And Heather did text me before this call and she's like, I have a call. I'm going to be on but I'm call the potential challenger. I'm like, all right, sounds good. And I, I don't even like, you've said everything that everyone needed to hear because it's in your voice. It's in your face. It's in your attitude. Like literally we identified what was holding you back because on paper you were doing the stuff. And now it's like, oh, now I get it. Now I get why I was hitting a roadblock or not reaching my goals for July. Like it's a little shift that can be the biggest shift in your business. Um, all right, hang on, we got some, some comments. So, okay, I wanna go back to where, okay, Kate said, follow up with the birthday messages. Ashley asked me to join her team starting four years ago. I only seriously recommended it. Oh, you seriously considered coaching after I sent you a, bir a birthday message. That's really cool, Kate, good to know. Julie said, yes, Heather, it's so true. That's what Keith Callahan says in Build to Last. Amazing book, you guys. Everyone should read Build to Last. He's a Beachbody coach. He's really, really great. Kate said, thanks for the book recommendation. Heather, this is so inspiring. Brandy said, way to go, Heather. Heather Pethley said, I 100% agree with what Heather is saying. Mindset is everything. Congratulations. That's, yeah, that is so, so cool. And I think the, the biggest, my biggest takeaway is that just that you were open to identify. We got on a call, Heather and I did. I'm like, okay, you're doing the stuff. What's going on? And she's like, well, I think I have some limiting beliefs. And she was vulnerable enough to talk about them. And I listened because I've been there. I've been with every limiting belief you could possibly be with. I've been married to a lot of them for a long time. We're getting a divorce. Don't worry about it. Not Brian to my limiting beliefs. And that's sometimes what it takes. It takes like who I felt for me, it was like, if other people aren't interested, it lowered my energy. If other people gave me objections, it lowered my energy. And I was like, you're right. Yeah, you're right. And now I'm like, I don't care who says what to me, I know I have a solution and I'm not going to convince someone to do anything, but I'm going to challenge them to tell me why this is not going to work for them in a respectful, nice way. You can level up. And if someone tells you, no, be like, cool, out of curiosity, why not? Why not? Why wouldn't you do this? Like you don't do shakes. Tell me about that. What kind of shakes have you done? What don't you like about them? Just like Heather said, she got on a call with someone who didn't do shakes and just ordered a challenge pack because we as coaches don't need to be experts, but we need to educate. And I'm sorry, it's getting dark. So you can probably barely see my face, but you need to educate your network about why, why are you doing this? You're showing up every day. Every single one of you, your life, your life has been changed in some way by this, right? Or you wouldn't be here tonight or you wouldn't be watching the recording. So why do we let other people's um, questions? Cause the questions aren't bad or energy that, that they bring to the table we need to have a shield of armor against that and also ask a lot of questions. 
right? Because when you bring enthusiasm and a we got to go now and tell me more about that because we got to figure this out, that is way stronger than being like, no worries. Can I follow up with you in a month? They're never going to join you. Don't talk like that. No, girl, you got to go. You think $150 is expensive for your for feeling amazing and changing your life? Are you kidding me? If you can't afford this, why are you not a coach, right? Like we got to turn people's mindsets and some people you're never going to change. And some people you're going to have the biggest impact on them in their entire lives. And some people you're going to impact them and you're never going to know it. But you need to show up every day that you're like, if you just, I'm going to get real deep for just a hot second, but like we're spinning on this planet that is so crazy that it even exists. We live in a, a free country. Like, I don't care what your political views are. Like we have opportunities that so many people don't have. And we're walking around sometimes like life sucks and we need, to, and that's what most of the population sometimes feels. And I get inspired by this because I always think about, wow, my life is a mist. My life is, a, is brief. So why am I not on fire to live my best life and help change so many other people's lives? Because if I'm going out, I'm going out in flames. Like I am going out on top because that means that I have helped so many other people in some way change their life too. And I don't care what anyone says, I will never back down from that. So that's how I feel. And that's how I know that we are going places as a team because I, like, I literally feel the shift in energy in our team. I don't know if you guys feel it. I feel it. I'm excited. And I think this is amazing. If you guys have any more questions for Heather, we have less than three minutes. So drop them in the comment box. I think that was the perfect thing to hear when we're talking about, um, what are we even talking about today? Inviting and, and owning it. I think that's amazing. So you guys, you have a job to do. We have a big job to do. We have to lead with this business opportunity because they can get fit and solve their problems financially and have more options in life along the way. Why would they not, right? And why would you not get a chance to be a leader of leaders? You deserve that. You need to go for that and you need to find your people. So everyone's focused. I just want you to think of the number three all week, okay? Three coaches, three coaches, three coaches. Everywhere, I want you to see the number three. I want you to like, Notice it on the clock when it's three o'clock. I want you to think three, 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 three. I want you to put that out there, that universe, I'm so excited to meet my three this week. I'm so excited for the three people that are gonna join my team that are ready to run with me. And let's just do it. Let's test it out and let's see how it goes. Your goal is three by Saturday, three, 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 three. We gotta go take a boomerang real quick. I gotta end this recording.